Wells Fargo agreed to pay $145 million to end a Department of Labor investigation into alleged malpractice with employees' 401k retirement accounts Monday, in the latest major penalty for Wells Fargo, though the bank denies wrongdoing. In February 2020, Wells Fargo agreed to pay $3 billion to federal regulators to settle all criminal and civil cases related to the bank opening millions of accounts for customers without their knowledge or permissions between 2002 and 2016. John Stumpf, who served as Wells Fargo CEO from 2007 to 2016, was banned from working at a bank again by the federal government for his role in the scandal, and he agreed to pay it $2. 5 million fine to the Securities and Exchange Commission in November 2020. The Office of the Comptroller of the Currency fined Wells Fargo $250 million in September 2021 for failing to meet its repayment requirements. In April, Wells Fargo agreed to pay $32. 5 million to settle a class action lawsuit where 401k participants allege the company mismanaged the fund. The price of Wells Fargo's fake account scandal grows by $3 billion, New York Times Wells Fargo admits to more unauthorized accounts, increasing tally to 3.5 million, Forbes.